Hello everybody, welcome on back to another video on the Unimix channel. Today we have some more brand new, very exciting LEGO leaks for summer 2021. So if you're going to enjoy the video, then I would appreciate a like and subscription as well. But with that being said, let's begin. So we have quite a lot of new stuff to go over in today's video, including brand new LEGO minifigures and sets that have been revealed, as well as uh, some information uh, of multiple different themes. But with that being said, everyone, let's dive right into it. So the first thing that I want to quickly go over is this brand new Lego set that has been officially revealed by Lego today. And this is the brand new Lego Volkswagen camper van set. It is an 18 plus set, which you can tell by the box art uh, with the black backdrop, uh, which does make the uh, actual model itself stand out quite a lot, which I do like. Um, and overall, gotta say, it's actually a pretty nice set. Really like the, uh, the color contrast there with the white um, and the light blue. I think that is a really nice color scheme. Um, and also, there are quite a lot of uh, features as well with the set um, and functions that you can actually see on the back of the box. So you do have the panoramic roof at the top as well as a boot at the back and a door. And you can also lift the roof off to access the interior space. So I think that is really, really cool. Uh, so there are a lot of different things that you can do with this set. And there are also a few buildable chairs as well, which is quite nice, which you can store inside of the actual camper van itself. So I think that's really, really cool. And overall, I think this is going to be a really nice and popular set because it is a pretty cool display piece. And also the Volkswagen camper van is a pretty popular model as well. So I think that this will sell out quite nicely. Um, and also because it, it, it looks like a pretty good build. Uh, and next up, we have a new Lego Ninjago uh, book that has been revealed. And this is the Lego Mighty Lego Mechs. Um, and I think it looks okay. Um, nothing too special here. I'm not really going to talk much about this. But you can see a few of the uh, Lego Ninjago Mechs there, uh, which are actual sets that you can buy at the moment. And then next up, we have a bit of Lego Minecraft news here. So... Essentially, we have the winning LEGO Minecraft skin. So on the LEGO Con, uh, LEGO did put a poll up uh, for three new LEGO Minecraft skins and people had to essentially vote for which one they wanted to be a new LEGO Minecraft skin coming next year in 2022. Um, and it was the Ninja one. Overall, I think it's a pretty nice looking skin and I think that people chose wisely. Um, and I can't wait to see uh, this actual uh, minifigure when it does come out in these sets and hopefully just come out in a pretty good set as well but we're gonna have to wait for next year to see that and then next up we have the brand new lego star wars advent calendar that has been officially revealed set number 75307 and it includes 335 pieces and is recommended for ages six and over and i think that it looks quite decent um i feel as though if you've got the razor crest there's no need to actually buy this because a lot of the figures and everything that you get in the set or from the razor crest and no one really cares about the builds let's face that um it's just the minifigures that everyone really buys these advent calendars for and there are 24 days in this um of course you've got uh, december 1st to december 24th and then you have december 25th which is christmas day but i feel as though it would be really cool if lego had 25 days in the lego star wars advent calendar instead of just 24 uh, but that's a whole different story there. Uh, but overall, I think that it looks quite nice. Um, I do really like the uh, the two new Lego Christmas minifigures you get with the Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, I think those look quite nice. And you get a few pretty cool uh, mini buildable objects as well. But nothing too interesting there. But uh, I think that the figures are quite nice. I uh, really like the Beskar Mandalorian with the, the Christmas scarf on there. Um, and then you do have Grogu who is in some... Uh, Christmas clothing and then you also get um, a few troopers and a Tuscan Raider as well as, well as IG-88 and then you also get the um, uh, the Pram as well that Grogu is in and then next up we have the uh, front cover of a brand new Lego Ninjago book uh, don't really care too much about this but in case you are interested here it is uh, you can see that you do have Nia at the front there and then you've got a few other characters behind her uh, and then we also have the brand new Lego Ninjago magazine that has been revealed. So uh, you do get uh, uh, Lloyd here, which I think is quite nice. Um, and yeah, there you go. That's essentially what you get in the magazine. Uh, not really too bothered about that, though, because I don't get these Lego Ninjago magazines. Uh, but next up, we have some brand new Lego City information. So these are some of the lists for the 2022 sets. So 
We have police a, set, and then we also have another police set, which is supposedly going to be a police station. We also have a fire helicopter, a fire escape, which is supposedly going to be the set uh, with a police chase. Um, and then you also have a fire station and then something else to do with fires, a race car, uh, a stunt plane, supposedly. And then we also have a mobile crane, supposedly, as well. And then we have a, another sort of truck. And then we also have a horse transporter. And then we also have a Lego City Park as well, which is quite interesting. And a Lego City School and a Lego City Hospital. And then we have some sort of other transport as well. So... Overall, I think this is a pretty interesting list. Obviously, uh, we don't have too much information, but I think in particular, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the school is going to look. Um, I think that one's going to be a really interesting one, as well as a park as well. Um, also, the uh, horse transport, I think that those three are probably going to be my horse, m most uh, hyped ones. I think that it's quite unique that we're getting a school. I don't think we've ever really seen a proper Lego City school before, so I think that will be quite interesting, and hopefully it will integrate well into uh, Lego Cities. And then we also have the Lego Marvel Winter 2022 set list, so I believe that these sets will be coming out in uh, January 2022. So we have three Avengers Classic sets. Now, when it says avengers classics i think that um it does mean that these sets will be based off the films which i think is pretty cool so i believe that these will be infinity saga sets uh however that is just a rumor at the moment so don't don't 100 believe it uh but i feel as though it would be really cool if we were able to see some avengers sets from the past avengers movies for example avengers 1 and 2 i feel as though that's something that lego could definitely do now since uh, we do have the Infinity Saga wave and they could remake uh, some scenes from those Avengers films. Uh, we also have a theatrical Marvel set, which I have no clue uh, what that is supposed to mean. We also have a Spider-Man set and then we also have uh, two 4 plus Lego Marvel sets as well. As well as two other 4 plus sets. So we will be getting four 4 plus sets in total, which I feel as though is too much um, as uh, we are going to be getting about nine sets for January 2022. And four of them are four plus, so I feel as though that's just kind of a waste there. And Lego really don't need to make that many four plus sets, but I am really excited to see what the theatrical Marvel set is uh, going to be. We're going to have to wait for more information on that. And hopefully we do get some pretty cool uh, Avengers Infinity Saga sets as well. So uh, really hoping that we do get some from the earlier Avengers films um, and some pretty memorable scenes there. Uh, but next up, we actually have a brand new Lego brick headset that has been revealed. Um, and this completely came out of nowhere. I didn't even know this was going to come out. This is the uh, Lego Brickheads La Catalina, which I think looks okay. I'm not really a Brickheads collector. I don't collect them or anything like that. But I know uh, Brickheads are quite popular and a lot of people do like to collect them all. Um, and this is recommended for ages 10 and over. And... It looks okay. Um, it's kind of meant to represent a skull, um, I believe. Um, I don't know what festival it's from. It could be from um, Day of the Dead, but I'm not sure about that. Um, but I think it looks okay. Uh, and then we do have a better picture of it as well, uh, showing the front of the box. I do really like the uh, hat that uh, the woman is wearing there. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and also it's a pretty nice little build there and then uh, I do quite like the outfit as well that she does have on uh, It has quite a lot of vibrant colors uh, Contrasting with the dull color of the face and everything so then that's pretty cool in the skull um, And then we also do have another image as well showing the uh, The back and the side of the box so you can actually see that there is a reference picture there uh, to La Caterina um, and then it does also also show the uh, brick head on the stand and that you can uh, take it off as well uh, so overall i think that's pretty cool i think that one might be uh, quite popular uh, but i don't really have any interest in that and then the last thing that we have i think that this is going to excite a lot of people probably the figure that everyone has been waiting the longest to see the brand new captain america minifigure from the lego disney plus cmf series so this is sam wilson's captain america and whoa i have quite a lot to say about this one so uh first off there's been four figures uh that have been leaked you've got scarlet witch uh the spider mini figure sylvie as well as uh this sam wilson's falcon um and then we also did have the bucky's torso leak but we haven't seen the full figure this is definitely the best one out of all of them i think that the printing and the detail on this figure is just absolutely phenomenal 
Love the new shield as well. I think that's really, really cool. It's got the arm printing, which looks great. It's got the really detailed torso printing, door molded legs with leg printing, which I think is just absolutely phenomenal. And then the face as well looks really, really cool. I do have one thing that I do want to complain about with this minifigure, and that is actually the hairpiece. Uh, now, that is actually a new hairpiece that LEGO have introduced for this one minifigure. However, they probably will use it in the future. But i got to say, it doesn't look very good on this minifigure. I feel as though that just lets this figure down quite a lot because it just looks kind of odd. It might just be this one picture. Um, it might look better when we get some better images and also in real life. But I feel as though they should have just gone with the normal sam wilson hair uh that the normal afro piece that they usually use i feel as that would work much better however it is a minor thing that you can change uh because a lot of people do have those hair pieces and they are quite common uh so that's not really too much of a problem unlike for example scarlet witch where uh her hair piece just doesn't look that great with the crown on because it looks really weird because it's not dual molded and it looks like a misprint uh, but there we go, everyone. Uh, hopefully, we do see some more minifigures leaked soon. I really want to see what the new Loki figure looks like. Um, and we should be seeing the full series leak very, very soon. And uh, also getting a Fisher reveal very, very soon as well. Uh, so with that being said, everyone, this is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, then I would just appreciate a like and subscription as well. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of all this. Are you excited or not? I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later. And bye-bye.